Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a mini PC that runs Windows. This is very different than a lot of other ones I have reviewed in the past. Check it out. It's got this really weird dial built into the top of it. And the reason why I wanted to take a look at this one in particular is because it recently dropped in price. It used to be around $500, but now you can find them on Amazon for around $400. And I wanted to know if this would be a good PC for people who are looking to do gaming as well as other Windows stuff. So today I'm gonna to unbox this as well as show you all of its features and we're gonna play some games on it. Let's take a look. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that this was sent to me for review. However, all of the opinions are my own. This is called the AMR5, and this is created by a company called Ace Magician, which I believe is out of China. This particular spec is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600U, which can get up to 4.2 gigahertz. And this Ryzen 5 chip has six cores and can get up to 12 threads. And it uses an AMD Radeon graphics chip. It has dual channel DDR4 RAM. Now this particular unit has 16 gigabytes of RAM, but you can get up to 64 gigabytes. This one here comes with 512 gigabytes of storage. And that is in a dual slot M.2 SSD. They say that this can support up to three displays, each at 4K and 60 Hertz, although I haven't tested it, but I do have it connected to my one display, which is 4K. One of the cool features about this is that it has a magnetic panel on the side, so it easily pops off and gives you access to the SSDs and the RAMs, again, if you wanna upgrade it in the future. It also comes with a fully licensed version of Windows 11 Pro. And so let's talk about the design and specifically that dial at the top there. That's what grabbed my attention when I saw this because it has such an unusual look to it, don't you think? I really like it when companies take chances with their PC case design. You know, I'm a fan of classic Macs, the original iMac, the Cube, all that stuff. I love how, how companies sometimes do that. They make them look a little bit interesting. And so this mini PC has some of that whimsical design. You'll notice on the side there, there are colored RGB lights built into it. And then the dial at the top is functional. So it has three different settings. The first one being silent mode, and that's specifically if you just want to say stream YouTube videos or Netflix videos, you don't need a ton of computing power and you want it to be mostly silent. And there is the added benefit of energy saving as well. So in silent mode, it only uses about 10 to 15 watts of power and it runs the fan at about 2,500 RPM. So it's pretty quiet. The middle setting, which is called auto mode is for, I guess when you're kind of doing daily work stuff. So it'll change depending on how much power you need. For instance, it will boost when you need it, but it'll also be slower and quieter when you don't. And this particular mode uses about 15 to 20 watts and it'll run the fan at around 3000 RPM. So a little bit louder, but then you have full on performance mode where it is full power. And this is where you would want to have it if you're going to be playing a lot of demanding games. And here the power will jump up to 25 watts and the fan is going to be louder. It's noticeably louder actually at about 4200 RPM. And of course, we're gonna be playing some games in this video, and so I pretty much leave it in performance mode, but I do like the fact that it gives you options here. Walking around the device, you have a USB-C port there, which also functions as a display port if you need it. You have two USB 3.0 ports as well. There is an audio in and out jack right there, as well as your circular power button. On the other side, you have another two USB 3.0 ports, so plenty of them. There is your standard display port, which will do 4K 60 Hertz. Next to that is an HDMI 2.0 port, and there you have a gigabit ethernet port, and then that's where you plug in your power. 
Now let's go ahead and check out some games and see how they perform. And I'm gonna start with some relative new ones. Here we have Red Dead Redemption 2, and this is a game that can really push a lot of computers out there, especially a mini PC like this one. I started messing around with this game at 1080p resolution, and you know, it struggles a bit here. It was often below 30 frames a second. I think it looks pretty good here, especially on this size of display, but I noticed when I got to my 4K television, eh, the footage was looking, you know, not as good as it could possibly look. The slow frame rate was kind of bugging me, so I did bump it down to 720p, and I also turned on FSR, and then you get closer to 40 frames a second, which I do think is completely playable. Here is Stray, and Stray is another game that surprisingly can really push computers, uh, especially some, you know, mini PCs like this, and as you see here, I don't think this is really playable at 1080p. Uh, the frame rate is definitely bogging down here. And by the way, this is you know not max settings by any means. I believe I had them on medium, uh, but then I lowered the resolution down a little bit. And then again, suddenly the game was very playable and we're often getting over 40 frames a second. Of course, I have to throw in Forza Horizon 5. This is a game that runs remarkably well on many different computers. And I did run the benchmarking tool that comes with this, and it basically recommended low settings. I wasn't completely surprised. And as you see here, it's running at 1080p with those low settings, and it runs very well. I mean, it's incredibly playable right here. I also wanted to check out this first person shooter I've been playing a lot called Proteus. So this is a game that's designed to look retro, like from the 90s, but it actually uses modern programming techniques like dynamic lighting, particle effects, and much more. So it, there's actually more going on behind the scene in this game than it looks. Here I'm playing the game at 1080p with some decent graphical settings. And I'm getting around 30 frames a second, sometimes a little bit higher than that, depending on what's going on the screen. This is a really cool game, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, it's kind of one of those boomer shooters I've been talking about. So awesome. As you might expect, when it comes to brand new AAA titles that just came out, you gotta keep your expectations in check with this mini PC. You're not gonna be able to max out the settings, not by a long shot. And you guys see the gameplay footage here, so you can make up your own mind if it's something that you can live with or not, right? However, I think where a device like this really shines is playing previous generation PC games, well, like Max Payne 3. If you go back just a couple years, or maybe it's a decade, I can't remember, but you know, this era of gaming, suddenly you can play these games at 1080p like, like you're seeing right here with high settings and you're mostly getting 60 frames a second and really solid gameplay. I was impressed, this looks really good. I recently replayed the Black Ops series of Call of Duty games on my Steam Deck and so I'm very familiar with these and so I, I wanted to throw Black Ops 2 on this device and very similar to Max Payne 3, it runs at a rock solid 60 frames a second, again at 1080p. Now this is with default graphical settings, so you can go in there and kind of turn on some, some more dense graphical settings if you want to, and you will lose a couple frames off of that 60, but again, totally doable. I think it looks really good. And then where a mini PC like this really shines is gonna be in emulation, especially if you're looking at those 8-bit and 16-bit systems like the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. Obviously, this is way more horsepower than you would need to run those games, and they run extremely well. I did mess around in a little bit newer 3D era consoles like the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube, and the, the results were a little bit more hit and miss there. So if you just stick to the previous 16-bit, you know, pixel art, those style of, of games and consoles, you'll be just fine. 
I could actually see this being a pretty great computer if you were to build a stand-up MAME arcade machine. Seems like that would work pretty well. I haven't tried it, but I, I could see that doing extremely well. As to my final thoughts on the Ace Magician MR5 AMD Ryzen 5 Mini PC, overall, I like this thing a lot. As you might expect, this is not going to be a god tier gaming PC by any stretch of the imagination. It's a $400 mini computer that does have a lot of flexibility with it. I mean, I could see where this could be sitting in your living room next to your television or in a dorm where you might be running a word processor and doing some light editing, things like that, but then also wanting to, to game occasionally too. And let me just say, as somebody who's been gaming for decades now, I am consistently blown away by how much power they can pack into such a small package. I think we're really benefiting from all the research and development that's gone into mobile devices like smartphones that is also getting put into computers like this. And so it's pretty cool to watch. And honestly, as a reviewer, it's fun to jump in and give these these little mini computers a test and throw you know games at them. It's, it's actually fun to do. But I would love to know what you think of these mini PCs. Is it something you are in the market for? I'll put a link down to Amazon below. You can check it out and get a little bit more information. And just be aware, the price of this computer seems to fluctuate every couple weeks. As of the making of this video, it's currently on Amazon for $3.99. But if it's not, I have a discount code I'll put down in the video description where you can save some money off of their website. And I'll put a link to that as well. And as always guys, I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care.